Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. So as you can see, I have mapped out all of the photo ops. I've been procrastinating for like an hour on whether I want to do the photo ops or do the mission that unlocks the Prado stashes. And I really can't choose. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the, uh, the photo ops. Unfortunately, I do not have the mission scene that kicks that off. Um, but the s is it the second mission or the third mission? Show me New York. Whatever mission that is, is the one that kicks that off. So, I mean, you should have no problem getting to where I am. The only issue is then finding all of the photo ops, which I'm showing you now. So technically, you don't even need this guide. But if you feel like watching, go ahead and stick around. I'll see you at the end. So the question is, will I be able to commentate this? Because I'm thinking, as with all side quests, that there's going to be some commentary. So we'll see. Hopefully I'm uh, actually speaking into the mic right now and not speaking to myself. It might be muted. Who knows? Subject too far. It's perfect. Wait, did I? You know what? I might be messing up. I might be messing up. So, oh, I might be messing up. Did I show where it was at before? No, I did not. It's right here, guys. My bad. My bad. It's like, it's like right here. My bad. My son was growing up. I helped coach his youth baseball team here. Every game we played, the parents talk more trash than the kids. Myself included. <clears throat> all right, so uh, this is why we don't record with a voice on guides, all right? Now we're going to the next one. I'm gonna start muting my mic now. So, uh, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Cause I can't multitask. <laughs> always had a thriving underground wrestling scene. Even been to a few shows myself. That combination of theatricality with amazing feats of strength and athleticism, it's electrifying. Should work for Robbie. Ah, here we go. Now, I'll admit, I first walked into his shop because of all the articles about his new flavors, but his traditional ones would have kept me coming back. Sometimes a classic is a classic for a reason. The total lie. Here we go. I was there on the field. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks. Just like I see you. How does it look? Was that good? If it's great, post it. If it's not, let it die. Okay, you can send it to me. And also, am I prominent in the picture? I do represent a larger customer base. Haha, <laughs> the bodega beef. It was already a rivalry for the ages when it was just David versus Goliath. But when Teos had to deal with the bodega copying his success by using the exact same mascot, it stepped up to a whole nother level. My grandma always talked about going here. She'd walk across the bridge every Sunday to get the freshest vegetables in the city. But one time, she was late and the guy in front of her bought all the tomatoes. And that's how she met my grandpa. Jonah was about to blow. <laughs> I 
Just a lot of assignments sitting at that bar. And a lot of grasshoppers. <laughs> That should work for Robbie. Ah, the Manhattan Bridge. Can you believe they started building it in 1901? Finished in 1909. I thought it was old when I was a kid, but now? It's just an amazing bit of history that's in the city. to New Yorkers. <laughs> Wasn't even trying to be funny there. If there's a good time to be had, they'll find it. This guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating them. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. Not bad. You know, for a place where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong, here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the iron. That should work for Robbie. Excuse me. Say what you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. Challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Damn. Never seen anything like it. aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. Not bad. My best friend's kid painted this. I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up. New York is nothing without its people. Yeah, that'll definitely work. That's bold to steal from an honor. Protesting isn't just a constitutional right in New York. It's your civic duty. 
especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. on the stage or in the open air. Where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. <laughs> That's perfect for Robbie. rich i'd take advantage of that backdrop too i'd also be worried about constantly launching balls off the roof but i guess they can afford it Sometimes, I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city, people will be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. into the bugle and a few who work there freedom of speech is a beautiful thing but saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true Definitely work. Well, well, well. Spider-Man the Shutterbug. Click, click. Quit, quit. Yeah. Some things in New York you just can't explain. And that's what's great about it. NYC, the mecca of basketball. I'm sure you can play it anywhere with just a ball in the net. But when you've got the people in the apartment building watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt, there's a reason they call it the city game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 